You taking a bath? I promise I'm just gonna do one squirt, all right? Well, he's taking a bath like his mommy just did. I just got out the shower. Say hi. Aww. Him daddy was saying him needed a bath, so he threw him in the tub. Getting him a nice little bath and some music. Oh, let me start it over. What's up, y'all? It's Lee Natural here, and I'm back with another YouTube um, video. Wait, that didn't sound right. What's up, y'all? It's Lee Natural here, and I'm back with another video, okay? Look at me. It was the hugest bump I ever had in so long, and it popped, and then it is healing now, and now it got the dark scar, so. Hopefully I can get rid of that within the next couple of days, but I got another natural hair video. It's been a little mini. I actually just washed my hair. This is my second wash in a long time. So today will be the first time I'm blow drying my hair in about a year. And it's been almost two years since I blow dried my hair. Don't remember the last time, but usually I do like stretch styles. I keep my hair braided and stretched out, but heatless. This is gonna be the first time I actually do it with uh, heat and a blow dryer. And I'm gonna be using my favorite blow dryer. This is the one I use if I flat iron my hair, the Bird, the uh, Silver Bird Conier Pro with the flex combs. I love this. I use this when I straightened my natural hair when it was platinum and it's the bomb. It really gets my hair good and straight. Also, I think I'm gonna trim my ends today, but when I'm blow drying, I'm gonna be using the silk infusion. I really like how it smells and I really like how light it is. So I was actually doing a time on me doing this. I wanna see how fast I can blow dry my whole head. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new, cause the girl got natural hair and I want y'all to remember that. I don't want y'all to just know me off of wigs. My hair is natural too, okay? This is how this whole thing really started, you know? That's how we naturally really came about. The hair, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna throw all of this on each section of my hair. I washed it, shampooed it with my homemade shampoo. The girl makes products, you know what I'm saying? I love the natural stuff. So I made my shampoo, you know, detox my scalp. And I'm ready to do this. I'm excited, I'm hoping. Yeah, let's see. It's been a minute since I used this stuff, but I just really, really love it. So I like to put it on my hair while it's damp. I'm trying to time my hair. I mean, I'm trying to time myself. That's why I'm talking so fast because right now we're on three minutes and I kind of want to see if I could do my blow dry. I could do it in 15 minutes. First I was saying 20 minutes, but I don't know if I'll get it done that fast. I want to try 15 minutes. So hopefully that will work. Oh, the camera is still moving. No, be still. So I want to see if that will do. I don't know, but... I'm gonna start by putting this oil on my hair. You're supposed to be really light with it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. Oh, I don't know if that's a little bit. I think they use about this much for the like entire head. Like it's supposed to be not too much going on the light oils. I already pretty much untangled it while I was washing. So it's gonna be easy to get it all blow dried. Y'all, ooh, look at the postpartum shedding. I had a baby and lost my hair. Yeah, that's what happened. So this is the third time I experienced um, really bad postpartum shedding. Yeah, but it's growing back. I'm gonna start doing my little edge massages. Section them as I go back so y'all can just see my little fro. So for each section, I use like a dime size amount. I'm using that much because my hair is thick and I just, you know, I don't know. Let me know if that's too much or not, but I don't think it is. Okay, now the section in the back. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to start my timer now, or if I should be starting it when I'm blow drying. I think I should start it when I'm blow drying. Cause it'll be a different time. Yeah. Cause I think that section needs a little more oil. Oh, he's so cute in his bath. I wish someone could take me a bath. I was getting my baths taken by husband when I was prego. It was so fun. It was fun? Yes. No, no fun taking a bath, getting my, somebody to take me a bath. Not being pregnant. I don't miss being pregnant. Okay, so I got some oil all over my hair. Let me turn around so y'all can get a good spin at my fro. This towel will get it for you. Really quick, look how cute he is. Hi. Always got to show the baby. All right, so, um, 
Okay, so I think I will just put just a tiny bit more. My hair is thick, and I just feel like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want it to be too heavy. It's not like I'm using the flat iron today though, but just enough, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna section my hair back off. Let me just do the back part though, down the middle. Probably not perfect, but. So I'm gonna do my sections. Okay, so we starting now. Okay, so now I'm starting. I just now started my timer okay. over. So I'm gonna start my sections. So I'm gonna do four sections and I'm going to blow dry all four of them. And my timer is under, I'm gonna try 10 minutes actually, okay? So now, right now we at 21 seconds. So I'm gonna section this one off, uh oh. And I'm just gonna see how fast I can do this, all right? Y'all comment below right now how fast y'all think I could do this on thick natural hair. All right? Okay. Stretching really good though. That's why I didn't put clothes on, because I wanna, I don't wanna be getting hot. I let my hair get a little too dry. I was looking for stuff around the house first. That's why I'm gonna split this into two. It's time, next time. I don't know where my big white tooth comb is, but that's what usually helps me. could definitely be like a lot bigger i think i'm gonna blow dry again another time but oh that feels oh that feels good already okay let's hurry up and keep going i'm on a timer i'm on a timer okay Ooh. Yeah. 
Make it under 15 minutes. Ah, it blew my ear holes. My ear drum. Like, let's say I had to go to work and I was like, no, no, my hair is wet. I want to see what can happen. Wait, let's put this up so it makes it so difficult. It's my tender side. Oh no, okay, we got this, we got this. I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it. Here's a Pokemon. Protected. 
think I'm about to beat my time. I did it, I beat my time. Wow. Honestly, I could do a better job. Oh, it's hot. Luckily you didn't see that because I would need my J-beads. But this feels really soft. See that jiggle? If it's jiggling, it's winning, okay? Honestly, um, the next blood dry is gonna be bomb because I see parts that aren't really stretched out. You see that kink, that kink clump? That means it didn't get all the way blood dry. The comb didn't do all the way through. But more so, it's better to blow dry when your hair is very damp. That's the best way to get that sleek, straight blow dry. Not when your hair is super drenched wet, but damp. Like it needs to be damp so you can get that stretch that you're looking for. My hair was already pretty much 60, I would almost say 50% dry. Dangerous, very dangerous. So next time I'm gonna make sure I'm damped up so we could do some stuff, okay? All in all, I got a fro, y'all. Yeah. So I had to braid my hair up. Um, I always braid my edges like really loose. Let me take this off of here. I always make sure I try to braid my edges like loose so I'm not, you know, pulling on them, especially with, you know, after having the baby and everything. But, <laughs> can I get a slow mo? <laughs> Yay. Wow, I got a fro again. Okay, my boobs are sweating. It's time to go. It's time to get dressed. I'll catch y'all in the next natural hair video. Comment down below what y'all want me to do to my hair, what natural hairstyle y'all want to see me try. Next time, we're going to have it stretched out a lot longer because, yeah, it's, it's got to be stretchier than that. And we're going to get us a trim, okay? So, stay tuned.